Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and uh, yesterday we were talking about a event coming up between December 24th and December the 31st. It has to do with the International Space Station that will be sending slow scan television pictures. But I did mention that you had to know when it is going to pass over your area. So I actually will post the link to this website that works in any browser on any device that you have. You don't need to install anything. The only thing that it will ask for is to have your current position. You'll have to say yes to this. And it's important because it needs to know where you are in order to track the different satellites properly. By the way, this website, you can track almost any satellite that you want and it is a great place so n2yo.com is the place and of course like i said i will be sharing the uh, web page i'll actually be sharing the web page with the um the string that actually gives it the exact space station uh track so when you actually click on the link in the description below the video you should actually be already tracking the international space station now if you want to know when it actually will pass in your vicinity uh, over your city, you have on the right side of the screen in yellow and uh, blue, sorry, the 10 day predictions for space station. So when you click there, it will actually give you the list of the different uh, times and dates that it will actually pass over your area in this uh, yellow uh, listing. And the um, it's color coded, so when it's light yellow, it means the pass isn't very high over your head, and when it's dark like orange, basically, then it actually tells you that this is a great pass over your head. So you all will know immediately just by the color code some of the best passes over your area. So it has 10 day prediction. You can print this if you want. It's actually going to tell you um, which time. You have to, uh, you know, go out and look at it. Uh, the information in this is the date and the local time. So it's not UTC. This is really local time in your area. The azimuth, which is the direction where the satellite is going to be at its maximum angle, basically, um, or going to go through. So it says here, says south southwest. Uh, for example, here, west, southwest, uh, west, some could be northwest or north or, you know, depends on the positioning. So it's going to rise at in the south, southwest at 726 local at its peak of 19 degrees elevation. That's from the uh, if you look at the, the ground, it's going to be 19 degrees high. And if you want to know what 19 degrees is. Basically, when you extend your arm um, full length, your fist, your closed fist is 10 degrees in the sky. Uh, it's going to tell you that at that time it is azimuth 138 degrees, which is, you know, southeast. At 7.31 a.m., that's the highest. And then it will, of course, go and tell you where, what direction it's heading, east, north, east, 71 um, degrees of azimuth. So just, you know, you don't have to grasp all that knowledge, but at least know when it's going to arise. And the most important thing for pretty much everybody will be the elevation, the EL here. This is what you need to look for. You want the highest elevation possible. That's how you're going to have the best reception possible also. So hopefully this is going to be helpful and uh, that you'll be able to track the International Space Station without even installing an app. All you need is a browser. Go to this link in 2yo.com, especially the one that I'm actually providing here. And if you want to track other satellites, by the way, all you need to know is the satellite name and at the top right, find the satellite, you type the satellite name in here. In any case where it wouldn't be there, in that place, you can actually type space station and click search and that will actually give you the space station 
in the list and of course here it says space station track one satellite you just click the track one satellite and it's going to bring you to the tracking of the international space station of course so it's called space station for the iss if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up link is in the description just below the video hope you enjoy